What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince of U2 PS Compulsion signing in here, aka that 23 year old kid with the light squeaky voice, aka Prince Anthony, aka the president of basketball operations for your defending NBA champs, the New York Knicks. And if you guys missed the last episode, you guys gotta go check it out. As always, we had so much fun in the Summer League, winning the Summer League championship once again. Back to back summer league champions defending nba champions the new york knicks are unstoppable right now like come on bro who's gonna stop us but anyways as the offseason draws to a conclusion i still got a few more moves to make based on what you guys told me but before i get to those moves check this out this must be a glitch or something but in the social media section Cindarius thornwell of the memphis grizzlies has been named mvp of the summer league Thornwell averaged 7.6 points per game in the summer league. What kind of BS is that? What about Kevin Knox, who was the league leader for the entire summer league? What about Josh Hart? Anyways, moving past the summer league, I asked you guys on my channel, who do you guys want to see come off the bench behind Devin Booker? Because we have quite a few options, but the most votes went to my man Josh Hart. 76% of you guys voted for Josh Hart, bruh. So you guys know what that means. Josh Hart officially gets a spot on our squad. And a lot of people said that I should sign Leangelo Ball as well. Give him a shot on our squad. You guys ask, you guys shall receive. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I sat down with Josh Hart, getting that contract negotiation going. And I offered him a minimum two-year deal with a team option although he only wanted a one-year deal and that was it he just wanted the minimum and he did not want that deal i was like oh man i tried to trap him low-key with a rookie contract with the two years plus the team option but he did not want that option on his contract so i just offered him two years at the minimum and of course he accepted i tried to swindle him into that team option bro <laughs> But anyways, welcome to the squad, Josh Hart. And then I sat down with Leangelo Ball to negotiate a contract. He wanted the minimum as well. So I offered him a two-way contract because I want him in the G League development. He is definitely not good to be on our squad with that 67 overall. But he accepted it anyways, that two-way contract. He's going to be in the G League. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome our two newest players, Josh Hart and Leangelo Ball. So now looking through our roster, at the small forward position, we got Jay Crowder, Kevin Knox, and Troy Williams. Then at the power forward position, we got Chris Das Porzingis and Kyle Kuzma. Then moving on to the center position, we got Willie Hernan Gomez, Alex Len, and Tiago Splitter there for veteran leadership. Then moving on to our point guard position, we got Freddie Staples, Patrick Beverly, and Gary Payton the second. But then moving on to our shooting guards, we got Devin Booker, who of course is going to start but then coming off the bench we got Leangelo Ball, Damian Dotson, Josh Hart and Seth Curry. We have way too many two guards so one of those two guards or two of those two guards definitely needs to go so I'm deciding between Seth Curry or Damian Dotson. Maybe I trade both maybe I trade one or not the other so now I'm looking in the trade finder to see if I could find a trade for Seth Curry and Damian Dotson and look at this out of everybody that I could find on this trade finder, I find Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs really want to get rid of Kawhi that bad. So, of course, I accepted that deal. The Spurs accepted that deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I gave up Damian Dotson and Seth Curry. And I got Kawhi Leonard on the squad. Oh, my goodness. Kawhi with Porzingis and Freddie Staples. We are going to be undefeated, bruh. Oh my goodness, this is so lit. Kawhi Leonard on the Knicks. <laughs> ah, got y'all. Y'all actually thought I was going to do that. Really? Really? <laughs> oh man, I know some of you guys were probably sick when I made that trade for Kawhi. You guys was getting ready to spam the comment section. But anyways, I was looking for teams. That will be a good fit to have either Seth Curry or Damian Dotson. And look what team I found, the San Antonio Spurs. They do need a better shooting guard. All they got is Norman Powell. So I was like, hmm, let me see if I could give them Damian Dotson. 
So at first, I just offered them Dotson for an unprotected first round pick, and then they kind of offered me, and they asked for Damian Dotson and a second rounder to get their first round pick unprotected and a future lottery protected first round pick too so i'm getting two first rounders for damian dotson that's a steal right there and the san antonio spurs got the cap space to bring in damian dotson so i was like you know what i'm sorry dotson i've been developing you for years but it's time for you to move on so i did trade dotson to the san antonio spurs he's gonna be with norman powell so i'm pretty sure he's gonna get a good amount of playing time i wanted to make sure that dotson could actually go to a team that he could contribute to you know so now i got josh hart and seth curry coming off the bench i'm probably gonna give most of the minutes to josh hart and the only reason that i kept seth curry is because he could also play the point guard position so just in case patrick beverly or freddie staples get injured i could throw seth curry at the backup point guard position so he could play backup point as well so now i want to sign one more locker room guy and one more veteran to the team for veteran leadership and i offered a contract to my man david lee he is at the end of his career probably going to retire by next season or the season after that so i'm just going to bring him in like i said locker room leadership veteran leadership just to lead my guys and the last move that i'm going to make for the offseason is jay crowder wants to re-sign with the squad so of course i got to re-sign him but he wants a three-year 48 million dollar deal now i don't want to spend that much money on jay crowder i'm sorry but he is definitely not worth that much at least in my opinion probably probably not but of course he didn't accept that deal so i had to hit him with the mind trick pitch now i had four available so i was like why not use them you know i'm probably not gonna have to extend anybody else's contract anytime soon that i could think of so i was like you know what i'm gonna just go ahead and use that pitch and i said this is exactly the offer that you want a three-year 25 million dollar deal and i got him to sign on the spot so welcome back to the new york knicks jay crowder i got him for about 23 million dollars less hey i'll take it he wanted 48 mil he only got 25 baby <laughs> So now the all-star game for next season is going to take place in Atlanta, Georgia. So now the Hawks arena is going to be used for that. Now moving on to the training camp, our coach wanted us to send Willie Hernan Gomez to rebound in training camp. So I was like, you know what? I just go ahead and do that. Although he doesn't really need that. Then Freddie Staples, I sent him to combo guard camp. He was pretty successful there. Then I sent Devin Booker to perimeter defense training camp. I also sent Chris Stapps Porzingis to big man defense training camp because Devin Booker and Porzingis needs to step up their defense. Same thing for Kyle Kuzma. I sent him to perimeter defense camp. And the same thing for Kevin Knox. I need him to be that great wing defender that I know he could be. Then I sent Jay Crowder to perimeter shooting camp. And I also want Alex Len to work on his offense as well. So I sent him to big man offense camp. And last but not least, I sent Josh Hart to perimeter shooting camp and ladies and gentlemen that's the end of the off season so welcome to the new season or another new season i should say in the nba and our first game is going to be against the orlando magic i'm probably not going to show you guys that game but i'm going to show you guys the next game after that which is our first home game in our new arena against the philadelphia 76ers and then two games later we're facing off against jackson baldwin and the chicago bulls that's gonna be lit right there, bro. That's definitely gonna be lit. So now looking at our roster for the new NBA season, your defending NBA champion, New York Knicks. We got Porzingis, Devin Booker, Freddie Staples. That's our big three right there. Then we got Willie Hernan Gomez, Jay Crowder, Patrick Beverly still on the squad, Seth Curry, Alex Len, Kyle Kuzma, my man Kevin Knox, Josh Hart, Troy Williams, Gary Payton II, David Lee, Tiago Splitter, and last but not least, he's in the G League, Leangelo Ball gave him a shot. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is our final roster heading into this season. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys thought about my offseason moves. I know I didn't do much, but to be honest, I didn't really have to do much. We're the defending NBA champions. What more can I do to the roster? Like, you guys really wanted me to bring in Kawhi Leonard? Get out of here with that. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, leave your comment. Leave all that good stuff in the comment section below. I'm eager to start this season. We got new uniforms, a new arena, a new logo. It is about to be lit, bruh. This is the Prince of YouTube signing out. Let's go, Knicks. <laughs>